Machu Picchu, the old mountain, true wonder of this world. It was built by the Tuantin Sio, known today as the Incan Empire. A fortress for Incan nobility perched high above, near the gods. Short-lived city, built in approximately 1450 AD. Disease and the Spanish conquest of the surrounding empire are believed to have led to its abandonment only 120 years after its founding. Over time, the jungle grew and retook the mountain, and there it sat, forgotten to all but the local inhabitants. Several Europeans stumbled upon the city in their search for plunder, taking what they could before abandoning the city once again. Legends grew about the lost city of the Inca. In 1911, an American named Hiram Bingham III, an amateur archaeologist and lecturer at Yale University, arrived in Peru to lead an expedition to find the lost city and reveal its existence to the world. Hiram Bingham III was born November 19, 1875, in Honolulu, in what was at the time the Kingdom of Hawaii. Hawaii had a monarchical government from 1795 to 1895 before American businessmen and plantation owners forced the Queen to abdicate the throne in favor of a republic. It was in the Kingdom of Hawaii that the Bingham family raised two generations of Protestant Christian missionaries. His father and grandfather were influential in the Kingdom's religious policies at the time resulting in a ban of Catholicism on all natives. This critically impeded the work done by French Catholic missionary Alexis Bacala and resulted in decades of persecution for the Hawaiians who converted to Catholicism. Bingham's father and mother later traveled through Micronesia, ministering to the local islanders. Bingham traveled to the United States to complete his education. He earned a degree from Yale University, as his father did before him. Bingham subsequently attended the University of California at Berkeley, where he took some of the first courses on Latin American history that were offered in the United States. Bingham later earned his Ph.D. at Harvard University in 1905. He taught history and politics at Harvard before serving as a preceptor under future U.S. President Woodrow Wilson at Princeton University. He was appointed as a lecturer and later professor of South American history at Yale being considered a pioneer in the research of South American cultures and historical events. In December 1908, he was chosen by the U.S. Secretary of State to serve as a delegate to the first Pan-American Scientific Congress in Santiago, Chile. Upon his return to the United States, Prefect J.J. Nunes, a local official in Cusco, a city in southern Peru, convinced him to visit the site of the Incan city, Choque Cuiaro. The following is an excerpt from Bingham's book, Lost City, of the Incas. The prefect told us that a small party of adventurers had once succeeded in reaching the ruins with enough food to last them for two days. They had dug two or three holes in vain efforts to find the buried treasure. The tale of their sufferings, which lost nothing in the telling, kept anyone from following their example for many years. Although they brought back reports of palaces, temples, prisons, and baths, all covered by dense jungle and luxuriant tropical vegetation. This sparked Bingham's interest to travel to Choque Cuiaro, which translates as the City of Gold. Bingham and his party left Cusco on this spontaneous adventure into the jungle on February 1st, 1909. This proved an experience of a lifetime that Bingham detailed in his later writings. The concept of undiscovered Incan cities fascinated Bingham and piqued his curiosity for what could be accomplished on a return trip to Peru. Back in the United States, Bingham organized the 1911 Yale Peruvian Expedition with the goal of discovering Vilcabamba, known as the Lost City of the Inca. 
He was a scholar with no experience in leading archaeological expeditions, but was determined to make a crucial discovery. Upon his arrival in Peru, Bingham started his search near Cusco. Following written accounts left by several conquistadors, he came upon a site local villagers called Rosapata. Bingham was able to determine that the site was in fact the lost palace of Vitcos. Based upon historical accounts, Bingham recognized that the fabled city of Vilcabamba should be nearby. The expedition came upon a small set of ruins, known to local villagers as Isparato Pampa. The ruins appeared heavily damaged, and Bingham could not believe that this was the lost city of the Inca. It was later determined in the 1960s that the site was indeed Vilcabamba, the last stronghold of the Incan Empire, before it was destroyed during a siege by the Spanish conquistadors. Nearby, the last Incan ruler, Tupac Amaru, was captured and later executed in Cusco in 1572. Feeling this site was not truly Vilcabamba, Bingham continued into the jungle, intent on finding the lost city. He was introduced to a local farmer and innkeeper named Melkor Ortega. Ortega spoke of a place high in the mountains that housed a large Incan ruin. Ortega referred to this place in his native Quechua language as Machu Picchu which translates as the Old Mountain in English. Bingham offered Ortega one soul, a Peruvian silver dollar that was worth three days of a normal wage in the region, to guide him to these great ruins. Ortega enlisted several other local Indians to assist the expedition. On July 24, 1911, after a grueling high-altitude climb across the valley and over the nearby mountain, Juana Pichu, Hiram Bingham III laid eyes upon his greatest discovery. The vast majority of the ruins were overgrown by jungle foliage, making it difficult to understand the total size of the ruins. Bingham immediately took photographs with his Kodak 3A camera. The following is an excerpt from Bingham's book, The Lost City of the Incas. Suddenly I found myself confronted with the walls of ruined houses, built of the finest quality of Inca stonework. It was hard to see them for where they were partly covered with trees and moss, the growth of centuries, but in the dense shadow hiding in bamboo thickets and tangled vines, appeared here and there walls of white granite ashlars, carefully cut and exquisitely fitted together. We scrambled along through the dense undergrowth, climbing over terrace walls and in bamboo thickets, where our guide found it easier going than I did. Suddenly, without any warning, under a huge overhanging ledge, the boy showed me a cave, beautifully lined with the finest cut stone. It had evidently been a royal mausoleum, on top of this particular ledge was a semicircular building whose outer wall, gently sloping and slightly curved, bore a striking resemblance to the famous Temple of the Sun in Cusco. This might also be a Temple of the Sun. The dense jungle vegetation was removed with the help of Herman Tucker and Paul Lanius. It became apparent that a greater effort was needed to fully explore the ruins of Machu Picchu. Bingham returned to Yale and wrote of his findings. The National Geographic Society and Yale University jointly funded a second expedition, with the requirement that Bingham write an account of it for the National Geographic magazine. Subsequent expeditions were undertaken in 1914 and 1915. The world became intrigued by Bingham's lost city. The stories of the scholarly Bingham braving the perils of the mountainous jungles and rivers of Peru in the name of discovery made him a central figure within historical societies. During World War I, Hiram Bingham III served in the United States Army Air Service as an aviation instructor, rising to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. Bingham went on to serve as the Lieutenant Governor, Governor, and U.S. Senator for the state of Connecticut. His reputation as a globe-trotting college professor was one of the many influences in the creation of the fictional Indiana Jones character. Today, Machu Picchu is the crown jewel of Peru's thriving tourism economy. Bingham's legacy is visible throughout the country. Landmarks to a man whose adventures helped bring Peru's cultural touchstones to worldwide prominence, in turn making him one of the most famous explorers of our world. <laughs>